probably meet up every two months. Um, we will have periods where we'll meet up slightly more. After the Lithuania Games, we don't meet up again until February. Ready to warm up? Yep. Let's go. Two laps, guys, go. Come on, come on. Come on then. To come here on a camp, there is a different vibe. And we've asked for a greater intensity in the training, but I think when the players walk on court in that futsal hall, we would get that anyway, purely because of the surroundings and what it means to be at the home of football at St George's Park. After the morning session, it was straight to the canteen for lunch before afternoon training began. We want it full on, really having a go. And we've rocked the intensity up this afternoon in terms of more like what we'd expect of an international uh, standard pressing game. Um, so when we go when we go abroad playing teams, this will be more of the intensity in which the game's played at. The actual tactical side of the game at this level is, is quite frightening really. The game's quick anyway, so the game's going on and we're asking players to mentally pick different decisions and make different decisions in terms of the speed of it. At the end of training, the staff evaluate the performances and have a one-to-one -one chat with some of the players before selecting their final squad. England took on Lithuania at the Sports House Arena for an international friendly. Doug Reed came close to opening the score with this effort, which was followed by this strike from Guillermo Wallace. It was nil-nil at half-time, but England did take the lead early on in the second, with Wallace firing home. The home side doubled their lead thanks to this cool finish from Ian Parks. Lithuania did score a consolation, but it was too late as England held on to win 2-1.